hi guys as you can see we're in the car and we're taking this one to the vet because I felt my well my husband felt a stitch in his incision from when he got neutered what's it been it's been like a month and a half <laughs> I thought they were supposed to dissolve but you can feel like a plastic piece of stitch I believe I didn't look at it my husband did and Magnum's freaking out he's like where are we going without my brothers where are we going so we gotta hurry up and do that it's windy and freezing today um, and I gotta get home and clean my house and do some stuff and I need to share with you guys my November expenses because I've never done that yet so we gotta get busy today you ready okay let's go well we got our stitch out it was just uh, barely hanging on um, didn't even have to see a vet the lady who took us back just pulled it right off so <laughs> you did good except for the big dogs that were in there magnum you did good except growling at everybody yes you were growling at everyone <laughs> someone thought he was a scottish terrier they've never seen a um, black mini schnauzer before so we're all done with that now we're gonna go pick up i'm gonna pick up some arby's for me and the kids and i got to get to clean in my house and i have to share a couple things with you guys too Okay, guys, I said I had to tell you a story. So we'll watch Miggy and Magnum on the heated blanket <laughs> while I tell you a story. I was listening to Christmas music, but I got it muted. Um, about two weeks ago, I saw someone post on a Facebook page, uh, a Schnauzer Facebook page. I believe it's called Schnauzer's Rule. Um, this Schnauzer christmas tree ceramic christmas tree by the and i i didn't know at the time when i looked at the picture that it was made by the danbury mint well i clicked on the comments and noticed the gentleman who posted the picture um posted a link to this schnauzer tree and i thought oh my goodness i'm gonna ask my husband for this for christmas put it on my wish list um so i clicked on the link now, first of all, noticed how much it was. It was quite a bit of money, but I thought, I love it so much. I'm going to, you know, see if my husband will get me this. So I was scrolling down on the link and uh, saw that it was no longer available. And I was bummed and, you know, thought, man, that would have been great. So then I thought, well, I'm going to go look on eBay. Couldn't find one on eBay. I found one, uh, I think it was like with bulldogs. And one with another dog breed, but couldn't find that one. So, week went by and I was checking my messages on Facebook on my Schnauzer Mom page. And I got a message and I started to read it. And it was from a lady who told me her and her husband were in their 60s now and don't really celebrate Christmas anymore. And they wanted to pass something on to me that they thought I would really enjoy and that they knew I would appreciate it. And guess what it was, guys? Let me show you. We got some lazies over here, too. <laughs> it was the schnauzer tree that I was looking for online. Now, is that the weirdest thing ever it just blew my mind that this thing I had been wanting and looking for once I saw it this lady so generously thought of me to give to me just it was almost like out of the blue I just can't believe it and I thought is she talking about the tree that I was looking for a couple days ago <laughs> I just couldn't believe it let's see I don't know if my videoing it will do it justice, but look at the detail and all the schnauzers on this. I absolutely love it. And I will never be able to thank them enough for thinking of me to send me this. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, this side's a little dark because of the lighting. And it lights up too. I have it set on a timer, but let's hear, let's. Let's unplug it from the timer. Hold on, guys. Let me set my camera down. Okay. 
Yes, it lights up too. Can you see the light? It's not, you can't really see them that great because it's uh, not dark. But I'm just so grateful <laughs> that she thought of me. And she knows who she is if she watches the channel. I don't know if she's a subscriber to the channel or if she's just on my Facebook page. You'll have to comment down below um, if you're um, subscribed to our channel. But I'm so grateful and honored you uh, wanted to pass this along to me. I just love it. And I just, I just can't believe it. So thank you so much. Okay guys, it's dark now, so I wanted to show you the, um, yes, I still have the heated blanket out. It's so windy today. It's like 25 mile an hour sustained wind. It's like just whipping you, and it's like, with the wind chill, it's like 19 degrees out. It's really cold. <laughs> it went from being like 50s in the day to really cold. <laughs> okay, so here's that um, schnauzer tree lit up. I wanted to show you guys since you couldn't really see the lights in the previous video. I just love it. Anyways, let me turn a light on because I cannot find my footage from that I filmed for my November expenses. So I just wrote it on a piece of paper. <laughs> so this was our uh, November expenses. A lot cheaper than last month. <laughs> But I didn't have to buy any meds or anything like that, like their allergy pills um, and stuff like that. I'm going to have to buy them this month, though, in December. So, Chewy.com was a new number 10 blade for my clipper for grooming them because mine's getting a little dull starting to. So, I wanted to get a new one just to have it um, if the other one uh, fails. And there's dog food, dental treats. Yes. Yes. Can I help you? <laughs> um, candy cat food, and I think that was it. So I did new. I did not do a good job inventorying my stuff um, that I needed for my Chewy.com order. So I ended up having to go to PetSmart and getting a bag of cat food and a couple more cans of his um, cat food. And I also got a bag of puppy food at PetSmart because I got sent a $10 off coupon. So I got a bag of that too there, um, uh, the smaller bag. And then look at bully sticks. Oh yes. <laughs> bully sticks are expensive, especially when you have five dogs. But that's what they're eating right now. It's December 5th and I just gave them the last of the bully sticks. They love them. They're great for their teeth. Um, so, yeah. So if you want to send them some bully sticks for Christmas, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, yeah. So I want their teeth to be good because you know that a lot of my dogs have had a, have a lot of teeth pulled. Even with brushing them, I can't get them as good as them chewing on sticks and bones and, you know, whatever else. So they really enjoy them. So, hey. If you're, I guess if you're a pet owner like me and you want what's best for them, you're going to spend the money. Right, guys? So that was our total for November. $224.95. That was no vet visits, no meds, nothing like that. So, um, Mag, don't you growl at him. He's growling because Magnum's stalking. He likes to get everybody's, um, wet, chewed up bully sticks and chew on them if they walk away. <laughs> so I think the other, where's the other ones? There's Max over there by the tree and then there's Mozzie's butt over there by the rocking chair. Max has to go to the vet this month, next week, to get a heartworm check and that should be it for vet visits. I do have to get more heart guard. I do have to get more um, allergy meds uh, for I think I have like six days left, so so there'll be a little bit more expense in uh, December, but hopefully not too much more. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Sorry it wasn't very exciting, but that's just how it went today. So, see you guys in the next video. Oh, don't forget if you want to get a Christmas card from us, make sure you uh, check out our PO box in the description box and send us a Christmas card, and we'll send you one back. Okay, bye.
You guys, I totally forgot about those clip-on lights for their harnesses when we walk at night. So those were $27.98. So now our new total is $252.93. Okay, bye.